everyone. So this is it. This is week six of um, my mini series with NGSA and today we're working all on balance and a little bit of core strength. So I thought for my last session I will get into my Monaghan colours. Alright, so um, a lot of the work today is balance, so it'll be on one foot or one leg or one side at a time. So if we fall over, that's okay. You just get back up and you go again. All right. So all I want you to do is just start. All you're going to do is stay on your left leg. We're just going to hold it on our left leg. So it's like a little bend of knee on the left leg, hands up and together, or just lifting the right leg off the floor. That's all we're doing. Just to see where we're at, see if we have weaknesses going through the leg. Sometimes you don't even realize your balance is really bad until you go and try and do some of the exercises. Okay, we're going to change onto the other foot. So I know always my left side is a lot weaker than my right side, probably because I tore ligaments in my ankle a few times so and didn't do the proper rehab at the time. Pain for it now. Okay, let's change it to the other side. So you're just holding it there, hands up together and change it, lifting the foot. So you might feel your balance is really, really good or you might feel you're really struggling with balance. Okay, change it. That's it. And we'll do one more. Change it. Okay, this time when we change it, I want us to get lower, dropping down into it. So into like a sprinter stance and take the leg up, drop forward slightly. That's it. And we just change with the other leg. That's it. Big breaths all the time. So make sure you're using your breath in. And all right, now we're going to jump from side to side. So we're just going to go on to our left, hold it, and to our right. So a nice big jump. That's it. Good. We're just going to go do 10 of them. So we hold it for a few seconds each time we jump. Hold it, get your balance. Jump, get your balance. That's it. Good. We'll just do four more. Hold it. Three more. Hold it. So we hold it for a few more seconds. And last one, three, two, and one. Good, okay, just shake the legs out. So we're going to do a stand up nice and tall. All right, so you're gonna go, we go with our left knee up first, all right? So left knee is coming up in front, keep the right foot on the floor, hold it, get your balance, get the knee right up. Okay, now we're gonna try and just go forward with the upper body. We're going to try and get the body into a T. So let's get the knee right up in line with your hip. Big breath out. You're taking the leg back. You're taking the upper body down. You're trying to get right down. Big breath. So you're trying to get the body into a T if we can. That's it. Hold it. Good. Breathe. And you're slowly taking the knee back up. So nice and easy, so stay close to a wall in case you need to hold on for a second, get your balance back and go again. So you just need to build it up, knee right up in line with the hip, big breath out, dropping down, dropping down, that's it. Try and get into a T. Try and get nice and straight if we can. Breathe and slowly coming up. So you should be feeling a lot of pressure on that leg on the ground. So you're really working all those muscles around the ankle, the calf, the Achilles. So really straightening up all them muscles that cause us trouble when we're playing football. And an awful lot of times it could be to do with just our balance. Breathe into your T. And slowly up. That's it. Nice and easy, knee up. So pick a spot on the floor, big breath out, and let's get into it one more time. We're just gonna do four each side. That's it, breathe. Slowly does it, that's it. Good. And slowly up. So that's really hard, even though it looks really easy. It's actually really hard. Okay, we're going to go with the other side, all right? So we're going to take the knee up. You can take the hands up, up above the head, all right, in front, as if you're saying a wee prayer, whichever you want. Okay, knee up. Get your balance. Use your core. Suck it in the belly button. Big breath out. Let's go. Breathe. 
Take a spot on the floor. That's it. Good. Keep going. That's it. And slowly up. This is my much weaker side. Not that the other side is very strong, but this side is a lot weaker. Breathe. You can feel a wobble. Good. So try not to throw the shoulders forward when you come down into your T. That's it. It doesn't matter what you do with your hands. If you want to take your hands behind when you're coming down, that's okay. Breathe. Take yourself down. Hold it in your T. And slowly back up. We'll do one more. That's it. Knee up. Big breath. Slowly come back. Down. That's it. Suck in the belly button. Hold it up. That's it. We'll hold it up if we can for three, two, and one, and slowly come back. Nice and easy. Give the legs a shake out. I find them really, really hard. Okay. So all I want you to do now is drop the hands down, reaching down to the floor. Big breaths. So we'll open out the hamstrings. Okay. Why don't you walk the hands forward slightly so the hands are on the floor. That's it. Breathe. Okay, all I want you to do is take the left leg up. Hold it. And back to the middle. Keeping the leg straight. Go the other side. Up. Balance. Breathe. That's it. And back. Let's do one more each side. Leg up. Balance. Suck in the belly button. And back. One more. Up. Good. And leg back. Let's walk right out into a plank position. That's it. Hold in the plank. Big breaths. That's it. Good. Squeezing your glutes, nice straight body. That's it. Okay, I want you to stay on your left hand and we're coming round into a side plank. Up we go. So lots of balance here. That's it. So I want you to take your top leg and flatten the foot behind. And you're just going to slowly reach back, reach the hand back towards the back wall. Push the hips up, hold it, good, and slowly take the bum down, well done. Okay, we're going to go on to the other side, into a side plank, up on our hand, let's go, up we go. So get your balance, use your core. Now you're lifting the top leg and you're placing it behind, behind the bottom leg, and you're rolling back. Reaching behind, that's it, hold it, breathe, five, four, three, two, and slowly down, well done, great stuff. Okay, back into a plank position. Are we ready? Good. Okay, I want you to take the left foot up to the outside of the left hand. So into this position. The left hand comes up to the ceiling. So you're okay here because you're able to balance. You're using the opposite foot, opposite hand. But now what I want you to do is take the hand down. So the left hand is to the outside of the left foot. And what you're doing, you're taking the right hand right up to the ceiling and holding it up there. Much harder to balance. Good. And back down. That's it. Okay. You're taking your left hand back up to the ceiling. Good. And hand down. 
Let's go with the right. So you can use the back foot as an anchor. That's it. And up. Good. And take the hand down. Foot is coming back. Big breaths. Okay, we're going to go with the other side. Okay, so the right foot comes up to the outside of the right hand. Back leg nice and straight. Okay, right hand first, up to the ceiling. Good, and down. That's it, you can plant the back foot. Now the left hand comes right up to the ceiling. That's it, try and get right up. And hand down. Big breaths all the time, don't hold your breath. Right hand back up. That's it. And down. We'll go one more with the left. Breathe. Up. And take the hand down. And take the foot back. Good. Okay, down onto the knees. Sit back onto the calves. That's it. Good. Okay, we come on to our feet again. Okay, so all I want you to do is take a big step with your left foot. So nice big wide stance. And you're just slowly taking the back knee down towards the ground of your mat. Down we go. That's it. Big breaths, just hold it there. So you're getting nice and low. And I just want you to reach up. And reach back. That's it. Big breaths. Good. Hold it. And take the hands down. And I want you to straighten the back leg. Good. Straighten the back leg. And I want you to hinge forward. That's it. Hinging forward. Nice and low. Good. And up we come again. And stepping in. We go with the other side. Big step out, nice wide step, and down we go nice and low. So into this position, stay low. And let's reach up and back. Good, hold it. Big breaths. And hands down. Straighten the back leg and I want you to hinge forward. Breathe. Big breaths. That's it. Good. And up and stepping in. Great stuff. Okay. Into a squat position. Down we go. So you're going to feel that in the legs now. And again. Balance. I want you to slowly come up onto your toes, onto your toes and hold it. So you're lifting the two heels off the ground or off your mat. And now we're just going into a little pulse for 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Heels off the ground. Come on. 10, 9, breathe, breathe. 5, ooh, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You should feel the burn. That's it. Give the legs a little shake out. Well done. Okay. We're flying through. Back into our plank position. Spreading the legs. Squeezing the glutes. Okay. So I want you to take the left hand into the middle and the right hand behind the back. Breathe. Let's change it. Behind the back. So try and keep your proper plank. You're not going way off to one side. And let's change it. Big breaths. And change it. Good. Muscles should be shaking and change it. That's it, you should feel your core starting to burn. And change it one more time. Big breaths. Two hands down. And I want you just to walk up on your tippy toes. 
Walking up on the tippy toes, right up, right up. You're on your tippy toes, that's it. And walking back. Walking back into your plank. And on the tippy toes again. Walk it up. That's it. And back. Good. And down onto the knees. Sit right back onto the calves again. Breathe. That's it. Big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's it. Good. Okay, up on the feet again. What we're going to do now is we're going to go with a quad stretch and we're going to try and work it in with a nice bit of balance. So we do our right leg first, so just pulling the leg foot up, stretching out your quad. That's it. So we start slow. So again, what we're going to do now is try and hinge forward. So be beside the wall in case you need to hold on for a second. Stop and start, okay? Especially one of your sides might be a little bit weaker than the other. All right. All I want you to do is slowly lift the foot up towards the ceiling and take the hand out in front and drop the body down again into your tea like before. Nice and easy. That's it. So you go to where you can. It doesn't matter how far you go here. It's just working your balance and getting your stretch at the same time. Breathe. That's it. Don't worry if you have to keep holding on to the wall. That's okay. That's it. Big breaths. And slowly out. But we're just going to do two on each side, okay? So start off grabbing the foot. Big breaths. So let's go. Good. You can have a slight bend in the knee on the standing leg. That's it. Big breaths. Good. That's it. And slowly add it. We do one more each side. Okay. So pulling the toe up. Are we ready? Breathe, concentrate, pick a spot on the floor, and let's go. So a little lock out of the knee, don't lock out the knee, so bend the knee a tiny little bit, and off we go. for us footballers doing stuff like that. If you're practicing it every day, it gets a little bit easier. Okay, are we ready? Last one, let's go. That's it. Big breaths. something to really really work on okay so we're going to finish okay so we have two levels here we can give it a go so really working the core really working our balance all right so you can we're going to try and get into a headstand if we can you can do it up against the wall with a cushion whatever you want to start but it really really works your core all right so what you can do is you can start by putting the elbows on the knees so we'll do that first and then we can push on to the other one if we feel we're able to okay so all you're doing is dropping the head, that's it, okay? Up onto your feet, and all I want you to do is take your knees onto your elbows. All your, you're just in this position, remember you can go up against the wall if you want, okay? And all you have to do is lift your toes, point your toes away. We're just gonna hold it in this position. Big breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth, that's it. Nice and easy. In. And 
out. That's it. We'll do two more breaths here. In and out. And one more breath in. And slowly out. And slowly drop. Okay, so we can make that a little bit harder if we want or if we want to stay in that position. That is absolutely fine. Okay, I know some people might have no problem doing these. Some people might find them harder. So remember, if you want to go up against the wall, that's okay. All right, if I fall over, I apologize in advance. Okay, so all I want you to do, so if we try and go with straight legs, so you're in your pike and you're pushing your legs up nice and straight, you will really, really test your core. All right, so I'm not probably fit to talk in this position. <laughs> all right, so all I want you to do is keep your legs nice and straight and you're slowly walking your toes in, you're right up into a pike position. Big breaths and you're slowly going to lift your legs, okay? So big breaths, breathe, and hold it, use the core, breathe, so just hold it for about 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and you're slowly going to come back down. So you're taking the legs down. So working that core so hard, so hard. And down we go, and then we go. Sit back onto your calves, stretch your arms right out in front. Big breath. That's it. So remember, balance is so important, especially as footballers, because we have to work on one side all the time, like you're going from side to side. And we might often, that's something we don't work on behind the scenes, but I know even for myself, that's probably was one of my big problems and why I was picking up injuries on one side of my body, because one side was probably a lot weaker than the other, but the other side was compensating for it. So if you work and see how well you can balance on one side and if you feel like it's really weak, then you will need to do a little bit of work on it to straighten out and to even out both sides of your body. So obviously you're not picking up little niggly injuries like an Achilles or knees or glutes or, and sometimes that's all it is. So listen, thank you so much everybody for joining in and I hope you really enjoyed the six weeks. I know I really, really enjoyed it and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much everyone. Bye bye.